Hey folks, this video will show you how to create a tabroom.com account as a coach, add your students to your roster, and get registered for tournaments this season. If you need a guide for how to set up your account as a student or judge, those videos are linked in the description below. This year, Lambda will be using tabroom.com to tabulate our tournaments and NSDA Campus to host our online debates. In order for your team to compete at Lambda tournaments or invitational tournaments, you will need to create a free tabroom.com account and add students to your roster. To make a tabroom account, you will need two main things, an email and a phone number. As long as you have those ready to go, let's jump into the process. The first place that you need to go to is tabroom.com. From here, you will see a sign up button in the top right corner. From here, enter your information. For this sample, I'll be using coach at lambda.org, sample coach, and their phone number here. For this one, I will be marking it as a landline, but make sure you pick the correct carrier because depending on your carrier, it will impact whether or not you receive the text updates. State. California, country, time zone, Los Angeles, and create a password. This is just a sample, but you should probably use a stronger password than what I'm using here. Once you do that, it will ask you to confirm the email address that you entered. This is the code that it gave me. Once you've confirmed your account, your profile page will look like this. The email in the top right corner and a question uh, that asks, are you a coach or director? From here, you could either choose create your institution to search for a school that I've already made or just let me know the email that you signed up with and I will add you right away. In a situation where you want to search it up yourself, click create your institution and enter the information there. School name that I've made for this example is called City High School. It is a high school and the state is California. You could add more information, but at a minimum, you need a school name and the state. Um, if you're a Lambda school, it is affiliated with Noddle. And from there, you will save school information. If you searched your school name correctly and you are a Lambda school, you will see one listed that is accessible by me, joseph at lambda.org. If you do see the list there, just send me an email um, and I will add you to the school that already exists. Otherwise, if you don't see your school listed there, let me know and I will make sure to give you access to the correct one. Once you've been added to your school um, or otherwise called institution in tabroom.com, you will now see it here in the right side panel. If it's not already selected, click the name of your school here. In order to enter a tournament, you will need to do three things. The first one is to make sure that your roster is up to date and that all of your students have their Tabroom accounts linked. It is crucial that every student has created a Tabroom account because that is the only way to log into debate rounds. Your institution has a few tabs here. The one that we're going to look at first is the competitors tab. This is your roster of active students. For this example, I've made a few dummy accounts that have already been added, but let's see how to add a new person. There are a couple of ways to add a new student, but the way that I would suggest is by adding your student's tab room account. In order to do this, you need to instruct your students to create their own accounts first, and then you could search them up by their username, in this case, the email that they signed up with. So if we were to use this method, I could use the student account that I made earlier, student at lambda.org, hit search, and that will link them to a Tabroom account. All of this information is information that your student should have filled out themselves to fill out their account. So you don't even need to worry about completing all of this. Um, you should ask them to complete it themselves and any updates that they make from their account will automatically update on your account. So go ahead and click save students. 
This student's name was sample student. If you go back to the competitors tab, you will now see sample student on your roster along with their tabroom email. If your students have not created their own tabroom account yet, that's okay and you could add them to your roster anyway, but they will still need to add their tabroom account later. If you want to just import a list of students from a class or attendance sheet, you could do that here via import from spreadsheet. Or if you want to enter them individually, you go to add a student and you could add their names here. So first name student, last name sample. And then you could save student, add another. It will bring you to a blank page, but the student that you just entered will already show up on your roster. To check that, you could go over here to competitors. And now you will see the student named student sample. As you could see here, they don't have a tabroom.com account linked, so they will not be able to compete yet. If you add a student to your roster and want to connect their tabroom account later, simply click on their name and search their email like we did before. It will link the student name on your roster to the account that they've created. All right, so you've got all the students on your roster. Now it's time to add them to a tournament. You go to the tournaments tab and from here, you will see a list of tournaments that are within your circuit. Um, on tabroom.com, the league and Lambda is the circuit that you're currently registered for. If you go to invitationals, you would also add other circuits, but for our intents and purposes, you will see just Lambda tournaments. The one that we will be registering for is Lambda tournament one. If it's currently open for registration, you'll see a register button. So go ahead and click that. The first thing you'll see is a pop-up reminding you that in order for students to participate, they need to turn in the proper paperwork. I understand and agree. From here, this is your tournament page. We'll only be looking at these tabs down here. In order to register a team for a tournament, you will go to the Entries tab. From here, on the right side panel, you will choose a uh, division to add your students to. Novice, Rookie, Varsity, Junior Varsity. For this example, I'm going to use Novice. Down here, you will see two drop-down menus. This is where you would add student one and student two. For our tournaments, all the entries are going to be waitlisted by default, um, and I will move them off the waitlist once I could confirm that they've turned in their proper releases and paperwork. So for this example, I will use the sample student who was linked to a tabroom account, as well as myself. If you're in a situation where you have a Maverick student that wasn't able to get a partner, um, I understand, just let me know um, and select single Maverick. But for the example, I'll use myself. And now you'll see the pair of students here, their school, their code, which is their last names and their name. And that's it. They're now currently in the tournament and I'll take it from there. Okay. The only other thing you need to do is add judges to your tournament. In the same way that you added students to your roster, if you click on your account in the top right corner and then your institution in the right panel, next to the competitors tab, you'll see the judges tab. Click on judges, add a new judge, and look up your judges tabroom.com account. As I've mentioned, just like students, every judge needs to create a tabroom account because that is the only way to enter debate rounds. If you search them up, it will find their tabroom account, save judge, return to judge roster, and now you will see your new judge on that roster. Once they're on your roster, you could add them to your tournament. So the same way that you added students, you wanna to go to the tournaments tab, you wanna to go to the entries button, and then you want to go to the Judges tab. From here, you will select 
where this judge belongs in terms of experience. If you believe they're mostly capable of, uh, if they're mostly inexperienced and should be judging novice debates, go ahead and click novice cross X judge. And because you already added a judge to your roster, you could select them here. So I'll select test judge. An account link is required. Um, so because the test judge does not have a Tavern account, it will not let you add them until you link them. If we go back and select me though, you will now see that it will let you plug in the judge. So any judge you add needs to have a tavernum.com account. Judge notes, this is where you could add any information about their availability. If they're available for the whole time, just simply say they will depart Saturday at 8 p.m. because that's the latest time that we have set for the tournament. Um, but if you have any conflicts in terms of time or only available for certain days, um, or if there's any schools that they need to be constrained against or not judge, um, add those notes there. Any information that you want me to see about this judge, if you add it to the notes, I will see it. Um, and for this one, I've not added my phone number, but judges should have their phone number because just like students, they will receive a text when they have a debate to go judge. Then go ahead and click Save Details. And now just like your students, this judge is on the roster it says they are available for all rounds, and that's it. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any other questions about the tournament or what we're doing during it, feel free to reach out to me at any time. That's all I have for now. Have a good night.